What's going on everyone? My name is Marcel Flores, welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to today's video which I think is much anticipated by many of you, another Zara haul. And oh my god, this season Zara is absolutely on fire. So many beautiful pieces uh, that I'm very excited to go through with you in just a second. Quick note, I'm not gonna keep all of this by any means. I'm just looking for my favorite pieces on the website so you guys can add to your closet what you don't already have so as to not for me personally, overconsumed because I've got more than enough clothes in my closet, but I'm still very excited to be keeping a few of these pieces that are unique standout stuff that I just am so excited to show you. So let me stop with the intro stuff and we'll get into the video. First up, we've got this linen cotton jacket. I know it's still summer, but this is like an ultimate summer fabric. It's super breathable. Still, like if it's super hot outside, you're not gonna wear this and that's fine. But I wanted to include a couple of these as I always do, because I also don't know where you are if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it might be winter. Absolutely love this piece. It drapes beautifully. The fabric's amazing. It feels nice and soft. And I think it's a nice classy way of not, you know, overheating, but still getting some, some classy styles out. I feel like they can be a little bit difficult in the summer. Really, really love this piece. Similarly, but much more on the casual side, this shirt jacket. It's short sleeved where the sleeves are actually fairly long, but I love the green color. Works really well if you're layering earth tones, I think. So this video is not going to have any outfit inspiration in it. It's going to be a separate lookbook video with 15 different outfits with the pieces that you see today. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that and see how I style this bad boy because I think this thing is really, really fun. Then we've got a denim overshirt in this faded, I want to call it lilac. I'm not entirely sure. It's like in the rose-ish color area. Really, really love this. It's oversized, so the way I would be wearing this usually is not buttoned down like a, as a proper shirt jacket. I would wear it open probably all the time. It's definitely a fairly basic piece, but the color is what makes it special, and that same thing goes for the next one. This is also a denim shirt, also in a really fun color, and this mineral green, I want to call it, has like a nice bluish underhue. The fit on this is significantly more slim, so this is something where you can actually wear it as a shirt. You can also wear it as a shirt jacket. It's definitely got a bit of a weight to it, so it's not the ideal summer shirt. Once again, something you throw over maybe when it gets a little bit colder towards the end of the day. I know this is not true for many of you, but wanted to include this because I really like the piece and I thought some colored denim is actually a nice way to integrate some color into your wardrobe without making it too difficult to pull off because it's still denim and I feel like denim just naturally is easier to pair with other things. Moving on to the realm of shirting and we're gonna stay there for a little while because I think that's the strongest category at Zara this season starting with this long sleeved linen shirt It's a quarter button down with a mandarin collar and just beautiful like a nice natural linen color It's not white. It's like a bit off whitish and then we've got these vertical stripes that are asymmetrical on the back We have just this one tan uh, line and the other it's a it's really pretty. I just think it's really pretty like the screams were, were me at the beach at me ah, Look at this shirt Come on, it's so pretty. <laughs> definitely, definitely gonna be keeping this. I love the color combination with the navy, the cream, and this like brown, yellowish brown tone. Beautiful knit, nice and lightweight, statement piece, but something that like you can wear many, many times, even though it's a statement, it's like, you, I, I feel like I couldn't necessarily see enough of this. Then a bit more on the simple side, this is an ultra, ultra lightweight long sleeve shirt in this olive green color. It's a button down. I love when my colors are buttoned down so it's not flying around. Really nice and slim fit and it comes with these button tabs and buttons on the sleeves so you can roll them up, which I love rolling my sleeves up. A really nice summer staple, I think. A beautiful print on this shirt, like just absolutely gorgeous. The base color is a faded rose. I keep saying rose, like a faded pink. And then we've got like this faded light blue that just creates this beautiful color scheme. I like the print itself, the fit, is probably a tiny bit too much on the relaxed side for me. I wish it was a bit more slim fit, even for a shirt like this with this Cuban color. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. I, I wish the fit was a bit different, but the fabric is a uh, nice, cool linen. It's fairly uh, rigid, so it's uh, that's, I think, another thing. Like, if this was boxy and more flowy, then the oversize would work better. But considering that this is a fairly stiff fabric, the fit, uh, it kind of reinforces the fit in a way that I don't like it, if that makes sense. But still wanted to include it because the print is gorgeous. Speaking of gorgeous prints, I had to get this. This is a size extra large. Everything else that you see here is a size medium, by the way. This was the only size that was left and I love the color so much. I was like, let me see if it works out. And this actually ex excellently proves the point that I was just trying to make. This is a really nice viscose fabric, so it flows really easily. And even though this is an extra large and even though it is very boxy, because it 
is such a light fabric, it drapes differently, and even the extra large doesn't look bad. I probably am not going to hold on to this. I wanted to see it. I love the yellow, I love the white and the blue flower print, but I think it's just not the perfect fit because it is an extra large. But if you have it somewhere close to you in Azara in store so you find your size, big recommendation. I think this is a, a beautiful statement floral print. Very, very similar. We've got this one right here, but I like the colors of that just a tiny bit more. We've got this like peachy orange in here. We got some blue, we got some green, we got some earth tones. There's a whole lot going on. It's definitely a little bit more of a statement, I think, than that one. Even though the colors are a bit more subdued, there's a lot more colors in there but a gorgeous shirt, similar fabric, very breathable, uh, drapes beautifully, and the fit on this, since it is the size medium that I'm supposed to be wearing, is phenomenal. Back to linen, now we've got a off-white linen base uh, as a color here, and then we've got this dark green floral print all over. The fit is more relaxed here, but the linen is softer. I think it's a combination with uh, cotton, which makes it a bit more wearable, a bit uh, more comfortable, but you lose some of the 100% linen benefits that, that uh, keep you so cool during the summer, which is why linen is such an essential fabric during the summer. Really love this. It actually, I'm gonna reach ahead a little bit. Comes as a set with these shorts, and we're gonna talk about, ah, you know what, let's talk about these now really quick, because why not? Beautiful shorts, it's the exact same fabric. Rigid enough to work for a pair of shorts, but flowy enough to work for the top here, and the combo, I think is actually really, really sick. It's a bit much, but there's ways of toning that down. Once again, make sure to check out the outfit video once that's coming out, because you'll see how I'm solving that little riddle. Gorgeous, the last thing I wanna note on this is it has fairly long sleeves for a short sleeve shirt, which is a cool look in and of itself, but I also like when you roll it up, it's a, it's a very substantiated roll that I think is a cool look for a shirt like this. All right, last printed shirt, I promise. We've got this. Um, Rose, I wanna say rose again. Peach, no, pink. We got a pink, it's a faded pink, okay? We got the faded pink as the most dominant color in this mix here. We've got some black in there, we've got some earth tones in there and some more florals towards the bottom. Same thing goes, same fabric, same fit, amazing. At this point, it's really just what you think goes best with your closet and with your general style. So there's no need to be buying all three, four, five of these printed shirts by any means. I just pointed those out because I love all of them and now I want you guys to figure out for yourself which is your favorite so you don't go spend too much money and buy too much stuff that you don't actually need in your closet. Pick a favorite, make sure it works with a lot of stuff in your closet and that's a way to ensure that you're buying smartly. Smartly, intelligently. One last shirt, and that is a short sleeve Cuban shirt in this uh, burnt orange, brown, caramel, cognac color scheme, generally. Nice contrast button with the ivory right here. It's a polyester shirt. Uh, polyester used to get a really bad rep, but it's not, I mean, aside from it being plastic and not great for the environment, it's not a terrible fiber to be wearing against your body in the summer. So this is a nice summer shirt, beautiful spread, a uh, nice structured collar, and yeah, I think this is a gorgeous shirt. I lied, I have one more shirt, the one that I'm wearing right now. Very similar to the linen shirt that we looked at, but this is a complete button down all the way to the bottom. Blue and off-white in a asymmetrical combination of these patterns, like it's kind of like a pattern blocking shirt. Really like it. You see that this is actually kind of going against what I said before, like you see how this is kind of flying around a little bit? I wish it was a button down, but because it's a bit more relaxed and a bit more flowy overall, I don't mind that these are a little bit loose. That's completely cool with me. Polo shirts, you don't see me wearing polo shirts too much, but this is a gorgeous color. Gorgeous, like a faded aubergine, like kind of brownish, but kind of reddish, which a allows you to style this very easily with other earth tones, but also just have a bit more fun with something that's not an expected earth tone, if that makes any sense. Uh, really love the fit, I'm nice and slim, and a beautiful soft fabric. This is a great, great little polo, I think, to be adding as a staple to your wardrobe. Then we've got a little long, sleeved, uh, I almost wanna call it a scoop neck because the crew neck is very deep for this. It's a linen cotton mix, striped in white and tan horizontally. Nice and loose fit, definitely like a summer chill, thing, nothing too crazy special, I won't lie, but I wanted to try it out. Probably not gonna hold on to this because it's not as amazing, but if you like it, then you can get it. And that's why I have it in the video. These next two I wanna group together. These are two tie-dye t-shirts. For one, I think I love this color scheme a bit more than this because this is more in your face, but let's talk about this first. We've got a little belong to the future, a little saying here on the collar, which I think is a nice placement. This is a bit more oversized than the other one behind it. The feel is a bit rough. It's like a dry cotton, but I think it makes for a cool streetwear piece that isn't too in your face and uh, definitely allows for a lot of wearability. Again, you see some earth tones in here, but there's also some blue in here, so you can pair it nicely with navy. And then this, on the other hand, has some teal in it, some orange in it, and we have this uh, 
green, mineral green once again. Then we've got a color blocked shirt. And this is actually like a light purple, like let's call this lavender. Sure, I don't know. You see the color, you know what it is. I'm gonna call it what I wanna call it. And the white bottom to the t-shirt here. I love color blocking and I think it needs to be done in a right way. I think if there's too much going on then it doesn't really read all that well. But just the top half or like 60% with the bottom 40%. Is really nice, a pair of white sneakers and you can literally wear any pants in between to really make this work. The umpteenth tactical vest that I have in my videos, I always wanna include them because I always think they look so dope and I always struggle actually putting them into outfits, like into my actual outfits. But I think I found the one that I'm gonna keep because most of them went back to the stores because I was like, I just can't wear them. This seems a bit less out there, which is weird because there's a lot going on, but at least it doesn't have like the mesh back as a pocket in the back, which I think is sick. The fabric's really nice and lightweight and um, the fit is also not crazy over, crazy under. I like the size, I like these, these, the pockets. There's a lot that I like about this and I'll show you how I wear it in the video that's coming up, but I'm excited to play around with this and see how many looks I can actually come up with styling a tactical vest. The last top for today, this mineral green mesh tank top, and yes, it's a mesh tank top which means if you're uncomfortable showing uh, you're gonna see your nipples through this a little bit that's bound to happen so I got this because I think it's a great base layer you know how I use my um, Uniqlo ripped white tank tops as a base layer and then layer over it because layering in the summer can be very difficult well this is a nice base layer because it's very breathable that's why there is all these holes in there it's a nice color and then you can work off of that color to create nice earth toned looks once again basically to say if you don't want your nipple showing wear a shirt on top of it, but leave it unbuttoned. I think you can create a nice dynamic outfit with that. And if you want to just, you know, leave the nipples out, have fun. Moving on to pants. We've got these linen cotton pants. They're 75% cotton, 25% linen. Um, they have like a nice sweat panty feel, but they've got a nice linen look. So you get the comfort of the cotton really, but you get the elegance of linen, which is a very uh, distinct elegance. It's not it's not very put together. It's, it's like a relaxed, leger, like elevated vibe, right? Right? You, you feel me on that? Either way, these fit amazingly. I'm gonna flip them up at the bottom once just to create a little bit more of a taper when I wear them, but I think these are beautiful and nice color. And as always, earth tones. These are drawstring, but like not really. They have like, they, they have this drawstring top, but they're, they don't actually have a drawstring. They're buttoned. Pleated pants um, that are definitely a bit on the baggier side, which is fine by me. I think these are uh, amazing. It's a beautiful, sleek fabric, a gorgeous color. And in terms of the fit, like I think it, even though it's roomy, it drapes really nicely so it doesn't really throw me off even for someone that's like a big fan of slim and skinny fits generally for bottoms. I really, really love these. Then we've got a pair of jambre pants right here that um, are similar to this, definitely a bit more fitted than what we just saw. We have this little beaded detail on the right pocket and it's just a nice denim type look, but it's chambre, so it's lighter, more breathable, um, more summer appropriate. And I think it's just easy to combine this because basically it's the color of a light color jean. And I think a lot of you guys know how to rock that. Then we've got a pair of white jeans and I kind of got them because I wanted to make looks with it, with all the pieces that are available at Zara right now. But I might keep these because they are distinctly different from all the white pants that I have in there. They have a nice high-waisted fit, really nice and slim around the waist, but then roomy in the thigh and roomy through the leg, but then taper back down. It's honestly a beautiful, beautiful fit that, I, I don't know, like I love these pants, so I think I'm gonna hold on to them. Got these in a size. 31. Before we move on to shorts, I've got pants on my body right now that I want to talk about. These are actually drawstring pants. They are navy and they have a little three-quarter cuff and are nice and stretchy, really great fit, have a nice sleek elegant look but you get all the comfort, you get the breathability and I'm excited to be adding these to, to my wardrobe. I think they're they're uh, something I don't really have, like they're not suit pants, they're not joggers, they're something in between but executed amazingly. Then we've got these shorts, similarly they kind of are like a bit like sweatshorts, but they're not. The fabric's uh, a little bit stretchy, but they're nice and uh, nice and structured anyway. It's, I have a really hard time describing this fabric, to be honest, but I like the nice um, grayish, like the light gray with the naturally colored strings. I think these make for a nice summer staple that's like, you can wear these around the house if you want, pop on a shirt, pop outside, nobody's gonna think like, oh my God, he's wearing his pajamas, that type of that. Last two, we've got these sage denim shorts. I said in the beginning of the video, color denim I think is a great way to introduce color into your wardrobe. I love these, they are a very slim fit, but uh, since most of the stuff that I have today isn't, I feel like it's okay for me to include some slim fit type stuff. Love the color, that's really why I got them and uh, excited to be wearing these. And last but not least, aligned with the tactical vest that we looked at before, we've got these tactical shorts with these large patch pockets on the outside of the pant, a little buckle right here to play with, and some small details. I think black shorts can be very boring, not necessarily boring, but like you can go for, for 
basic ones or something that's a little bit more of a statement even though it is black they are black and I, I actually really like the fit it's a it's a shorter fit but it is a bit roomier but it's not super baggy so it's not crazy hard to rock these and you thought we were done I thought we were done but I also got uh, one two three four five six more accessories that I want to walk you through. For one, the super sick little AirPod case that you can clip onto your pants if you have actual belt loops, which I don't on these. I really like this. It's a khaki leather, I think really classy. And I do tend to lose my AirPods, so I like having a place that's like on me where I can't lose them. Then I did something that I don't usually do. I got a pair of shoes at Zara. I wanted to get these because of the green video that I wanted to shoot, like how to wear the color green. But I actually really, really like these espadrilles. They're surprisingly comfortable. I love how the sole is stacked in three different colors and the color suede and the, the like ripped effect that they have on these is absolutely beautiful. So I'm very excited that I got these and I think I'm gonna hold on to them. They could be a um, very great addition for my summer footwork closet, which I just am really surprised by. Then we've got this tote bag right here. Absolutely beautiful, a nice saturated color for that yellow straw. And then contrasted that with this cognac leather. Beautiful, I think, you know, whether it's a beach day or you just try and have a beach vibe while you elevate your outfit as you run around the city. I don't really care. I love this tote bag. Then we got this little utility bag right here. Similarly beautiful color. I think here what I like is the details, including the, the scripture. <laughs> scripture, I don't know. The writing on it here up front, the white um, kind of modernizes the whole thing. And then just the way the buckles are attached on here with this little snap. Um, I, I like this a whole lot. And it's a nice size. It's, it's like a medium size, but you can like, for me personally, I fit my camera in and like maybe some gym, gym stuff if I'm heading out without being too, too big. Like this guy, this is probably too big. On the website, it looked a little better. I think for one, the color, it's a very, very faded mineral green, but it's also massive. And I think it's just a bit too big for me. So I don't think I want to be holding on to this, but if you need a large bag, this is one. Last but not least, we've got this little saddle bag in a black colorway. Definitely inspiration from the Christian Dior pistol bag, I think it's called. But I really like the shape, I think it's cool. Uh, I mentioned in a video recently that I'm still all for uh, crossbody bags and um, for fanny packs because I don't really care about the trends. I think this is cool. So, and I think it also offers extra storage uh, while we try and keep in the summer our pants to look as slim and tight around here and not have any wallet or phone bulges appearing. And now we're actually done. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I tried to get through it as quickly as possible, but as you saw, there was a lot of ground to be covered. If you did like it, leave comments and thoughts and questions down below. Uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss seeing all of these pieces put together in outfits, some of which I'm honestly like so excited about. Like I, I'm, I'm really excited. So sup, make sure you don't miss that. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you very soon with the next one. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye y'all.